Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoodie London. This is the case of the Idaho mosque murders, the quadruple murders. May the victims rest in peace. Condolence to their families for their loss. May the correct justice be served. This is for entertainment purpose only. I remember that someone in my comment channel actually mentioned this part and I had to go back and look at it and I really like to thank that person because you'll hear Eaton's mother saying 2 a.m. is a very difficult time for us 2 a.m. at night. I wonder if that is a hint that the quadruple murders happen at 2 a.m. At the beginning, we were told that it happened between 3 to 4 a.m. And if you remember, Kaylee Congalvis's mobile device was on last at was it 156 or 256 yeah 256 so if wonders if something happened between two to three actually let's listen to this we had a conversation that we would no longer have to worry about these kids because we did it yeah. <laughs> you know people can support you guys right now it's an interesting situation because in all of your hardships in life, you know, whatever you're going through, there's always a, like an outcome, like a, you, you get through it, right? Like, I don't know, whatever it is. This is something you wake up and you realize it's never going to go away. And, and it's, it's, it's a very different, it's a very different, 2 a.m. is a dark hour, I can tell you that. <laughs> We're all. And I guess just during this time, like I said, you guys seem very tight knit. Are you just like, what's going forward look like for you? I know that's a hard question right now. But I know it seems like you guys are really there supporting each other through this. I think one of the first things that like when we got Maisie and Hunter, um, one of the first things, I mean, that came to me is that our life has literally taken a left turn and I don't know how that's going to affect us, but we will not let this sink us or sink our kids. Because if anything may have to go on and shine Ethan's bright light on our own. <laughs> you know, whatever you're going through, there's always a, like an outcome, like a, you, you get through it, right? Like, I don't know, whatever it is. This is something you wake up and you realize it's never going to go away. And, and it's, it's, it's a very different, it's a very different, 2 a.m. is a dark hour, I can tell you that. <laughs> very different, 2 a.m. is a dark hour, I can tell you that. <laughs> We're all. And I guess just during this time. I wonder why, I wonder why 2 a.m. Why did Eaton's mother decide to say 2 a.m., not 1 a.m., not 12 a.m., not 3 a.m., but 2 a.m. specifically? Is that what she heard from the coroner? Because the coroner was the one who was, who was quite frank with everything, which in a way is a blessing. Because if it wasn't the coroner, who told us about the different stab wounds and the gouges and all. I don't think either Moscow police would have ever told us that. And I find it strange that the corner is a law student. She's a nurse. She's quite flexible. And she's the corner. But 2 a.m. Hmm.
2 a.m. is when Kaylee and Maddie got home. They got home at 1.56, although the police said 1.45, Alavira, Kaylee's sister, said that the girls got home at 1.56. So if something happened at 2 a.m., I'm just thinking out loud, could it be possible that somebody was already waiting for the victims inside the house and didn't... Zana Konodal's father tell us that he spoke to her that night, around 12 at night, midnight, and Zana said she was going to be, she was going to stay home, she was going to order a pizza. So I wonder if Zana was at home. Dylan and uh, Bethany came home at 1 a.m. Maddie and Kaylee, may the all rest in peace, came home at 1.56. What happened at 2 a.m.? That's interesting. The four figures were running around 3 a.m., was it? Or 12 past, 10 past 12, 3? The Banfield... The Banfield Alcohol Miner Sop with the undercover police was at 2.56. Isn't that strange? Could they have been making their way from Kings Road, allegedly? They did come from those directions. This is all alleged, guys. We're just speculating. But I think that the four students and their parents, may the rest in peace and condolence to their parents, deserve a correct justice. Please like, share and subscribe and have a lovely week.